New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're going to be talking about a new tool that has come to Harbor Freight. This is a professional hydraulic body repair kit. This is under the Daytona brand. This is the 4-ton model. They also have a 10-ton model, also under the Daytona name. I will talk about that particular model in an upcoming video. I gotta admit, I was very excited to see that these were for sale on the Harbor Freight website, and I did reach out to them and ask them to send me this model so that I could take a look at it and share it with you guys. Now again, this is the four ton model. And as you can see, it presents itself very nicely in this box. This box is a very thick blow mold case. There is nothing flimsy about this box. In fact, it feels to be a little bit overkill for this unit. It comes with plenty of attachments to be able to handle some of those more difficult bends. It has plenty of extension rods. They're stacked on top of each other. And with pretty much everything Daytona, you can expect a little higher quality across the board. And this gauge is liquid filled. You typically use liquid filled gauges for heavy vibrations and or in situations where you're going to knock the gauge around and you don't want it to become inaccurate. So as that gauge is being stored in this case and you're being rough with the case, the gauge should still stay accurate. The spreader itself has a toe width of about a half of an inch. That's pretty good. You use these when you're trying to pull metal apart or you're trying to get into a tight area and spread it. In its fully open position, we are shy of four inches. The longer ram without the attachments is 10 and a half inches. And fully extended, that ram is about 15 and a half inches. And the short ram is just shy of inch and three quarters. Fully extended, we're at two and a quarter inches. And all of the attachments fit together exceptionally well, even with a very satisfying seal. There is also a soft rubbered spherical end attachment. So if you're trying to be a little more delicate, you can choose to do so. So if you've never seen one of these before, I'm going to very quickly explain how they operate. Basically, it is a hydraulic pump and you have some different cylinders and attachments. We're very quickly going to set up this ram to push two pieces of metal apart. The hydraulic hose just presses in like this and you screw the coupler on. And because this is very modular, you configure it as needed. We're gonna take the other end of that and shove it into the ram. We'll take another attachment and put it on the other end of the ram. And now you would be able to put this in a position where you're going to push two pieces of metal apart. Maybe you had a frame rail that was bent. You could put one end against a solid part of the car and you could take the other end and shove that metal out and reform it. There are multiple sizes of extensions that you can use with this as well. So basically just like Legos, you build what you need and then use it. To operate the ram, you just pump the handle on the pump. And then to reset the ram, you just open up the release valve and it'll reset itself. The gauge, also optional. You can attach it or choose not to use it at all. It will tell you how many tons of pressure you're applying as you use the pump. The hose does measure at just a little bit under six feet and it does have nice heavy duty strain release on each end. But I'm sure the question in everybody's mind is, well, how well does it work? Well, I do have a scenario that I actually need to use one of these and we're gonna set it up and see how well it does. I've been working on my tractor cab and this particular piece here sits on a footrest. Unfortunately, it is bent in because this cab is probably been dropped sometime in its life. The previous owner had spacers underneath this. I have beat some of it back with a sledgehammer, but it still needs a little more encouragement. We're going to use the ram and make that happen. With the ram in place, we're going to give it just a couple of gentle pumps. No effort at all. We're starting to bend this plate back out. And that is about where it needs to be. We're going to give it a little more just to push it a little bit past where it needs to be. That way when it springs back, it'll be perfectly aligned. Four ton is gonna be plenty, specifically if you're working on today's unibody cars, or even for those one-offs where you're trying to unbend random objects that you've bent up in your garage. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.